Yo, what is going up guys? Matt back at the lake. It is around 5.30 p.m. So I get about maybe two, two and a half hours of fishing here. Um, I came out kind of late today and we're just gonna beat the banks. I think we're just gonna throw a square bill all day. We don't have a lot of time to work, so I'm just gonna try to catch some fish and we're gonna see what happens, guys. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some good footage. And hopefully it's gonna be a good day. Stay tuned. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead. Let's put the hammer down. Alrighty. Got around two hours, two and a half hours. Somewhere in there. My bait can't be doing that first cast. What is up? Come on now. Come on now. Catch me a Mondo. Throw on this Bagley, man. This Bagley Bolsa crankbait. Red Craw. Find me a Mondo. I need me a Mondo. There's fish sitting under that dock. What are those, carp? Oh, I can't tell what those are. They're underneath the dock, though. I think they're carp. You never know, though. Let me crank. They're kind of sitting high. Looks like a carp. We are on the hunt for Mondos. Mondos. These are some really fresh rocks put in. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos. But these rocks look so fresh that I don't think anything's gonna be here yet. Catch me a Mondo, 4G money strong. It's my Mondo, I need it now. 877 Mondo now. I'm not a beatboxer. <laughs> Fish, fish, fish. Here we go. First one of the day, guys. First one of the day, not a Mondo. Not a Mondo. All right, come here, little one. First fish, not even a pound. It goes right there. Beautiful little fish, cranking. Let me find your grandma or grandpa. I'm looking for the biggins. We need a biggin. Today hit 75 degrees out in Illinois today. Can you guys believe it? I can't. Tomorrow, 82. We're looking up now, guys. We're going to be heating up. Finally. May 16th. Finally hit 70 degrees. Water temps are still 56, 57. I can't wait. I didn't check the water temperature today. But I can't wait to see how fast the water warms up. Got some grass on there. 
Get off my lawn. All right, let's get out of the let's get out, let's get out of squeak zone here. I'm gonna move on past squeak zone. Right into Mondo Town. That's where we're headed. We're headed to Mondo Town. Oh, fish! There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, fight it! Yeah. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Ah, uh, we had another one. We were still in Squeak. We were in Squeakerville, though. Got to head over to the Mondo Town. I didn't get to see how big that guy was. He was fighting pretty good. He was pulling. He was like, doo -doo 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 and he popped off. All right. Does this look like Mondo Town? Oh, this is looking, this is looking pretty, pretty juicy. Come on, Mondo City. There's a fish. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this is not a bass. We snagged something. He's swimming. I see his tail. Oh, God. What do we snag? Mondo carp. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Oh, it's drawn, whatever it is. Oh my god, he's so strong. He is so strong, guys. Come on. Guys, he is just bulldogging me. He's got this medium heavy bent in half. Dude, he is still going. Better have a catfish. Oh, he came off. Wow. What was that? Oh my god. I got no scales. Let me check my bait. Normally you'll see scales from a carp or you'll see slime from the catfish. I don't see either one. I'm thinking that was a carp though. Oh. Dude, my wrists are killing me. He had this medium heavy bent in half, dude. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? Right on the fish, right there. Oh my God. We're in Mondo City. This one better be a bass this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. This one's a bass, and it's a good one. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go, guys. We won't wear, we're gonna back right away. See you later, big girl. Thanks for buying that square bill. Oh man, how long did I fight that carp or whatever for? Like eight minutes, 10 minutes, something crazy. Oh. Man, I won't show you guys the whole fight there, just because that was crazy, but. Right here, this little red balsa bait by Bagley's has been killer. Been absolutely a killer bait. One of my favorites, man. I didn't know Mondo City was gonna be holding carp. <laughs> oh my God. I definitely had whatever it was hooked in the tail because every time it kicked, my line would go back and forth. <laughs> Alright, so Squeakerville had one fish and another bite. Mondo Town had 
like a 30, 40 pound carp, whatever that thing was, it was big. And it held one good solid three pound bass. Now let's, let, we gotta head over to the retirement home. That's where we gotta find the big ones. Maybe this is the retirement home over here in the shade a little bit. Or in this little inn down here, maybe. Maybe we'll find the juice. <laughs> Come here, Mondo. Where you be? Will you be in the shade or next to a tree? Fish. Oh, it came off. Wow. He hit it and got off right away. Have you guys seen my last video? I was throwing the six cents flat sided crank and I put those uh, trapper tackle hooks on and man, the hookup ratio was great. Now I'm already noticing what this is, I'm already losing more fish than when I had those trapper tackle hooks on. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Help me help you. <laughs> There's a fish. As soon as it hit the water. There we go. What do we got? We got Mondo? Nah, it's not a Mondo, but it's decent. Jump again. Go ahead. Up you go. Yeah. Spin you around out of that light here. There you guys go. Round a pound fish. Guys, I love this Bagley bait, guys. This Bagley bait is awesome. It's a Bagley Bolsa Wood flat sided, flat sided silent bait. It comes in quite a few different colors. Red Craw is by far my favorite though. Get him back. Just a really good bait. Especially when the water is chilly, you know? It's got that tight side to side action. It's not all erratic and crazy. And I really think that's why it gets bit a lot right now with this water being a little chilly. There's a fish. Wow. Oh, he came off. Guys. How'd he come off? I need trapper tackle hooks on this thing. The ones I have that I was using are too big for this. I'm gonna have to order some off a of tackle warehouse tonight. Get some EWG trapper tackles. Wow. I can't believe that fish came off. Felt good too. I don't know if you guys are keeping track of the fish I lost, but at the end of the video, drop a comment saying how many fish I lost today. Man, I feel like I lost five already. I don't know how many it's been really, but feels like a lot. Show me some love. Show me the love. Smack that on the floor. Smack that. Give me some more. Smack that. Oh, oh, oh. There's a fish. Right on the bank. What do we got? Oh, nice one. Come on, buddy. Stay pinned. Give us a jump. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got ourselves another one. Boom. Ooh, a fatty, too. Double hooked. Oh, God. Hold on. I do not like when you guys are hooked sideways like that. Big old belly. Get back. See you, bud. We hooked up with one, guys. We landed a fish. And I tangled the bait. Why are you tangling so much? Come on, untangle. Alright, it's not gonna let it me tap it over, huh? Gotta grab it, do it the old fashioned way.
Mondo, I will hunt you down. I need you for G-Money Strong. Come here, Mondo. Come here, Mondo. Show me some love tonight. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of your fantasies. Get you some Bagley Bolsa. Just accept it and like it. What do you guys think about this little cut? Is it holding the juice? Or is it not holding the juice? Smack that all on the <laughs> Oh man. Fish home. Not very big. He came right off this little shady side of this uh this wall right here at this house. See that wall right there? Come here little dude. Alrighty. So far, one decent fish, you know, that probably three pounder. I didn't weigh them, but there's another pound fish right there. So far, a lot of those guys. Let's see if there's anything back in this little. The sun is bright today. It's probably giving you guys a terrible view. I apologize for that. Man, that spot just looks good, doesn't it? There's one. Here we go. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Really nice one. Get him in. Get him in. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Yes. Look at this one, guys. That's a solid one. We're going to get a weight on her. Big old fish, man. Nice fish, too. Real nice fish. Hold on. Three, two, five. One more weight here. Not quite the size we're looking for. Just wagging her tail here. Three, two, five again, if you guys can see that right there. 325 on the connect scale too. Good fish though, nonetheless. Man, I was hoping she was a four pounder, but that's a good fish right there. Beautiful. Thanks for biting, big girl. See ya. There we go, another one on guys off that spot. Oh, we threw it. Dang. All right, guys, what's the counter for lost fish, man? What is the counter? I am losing lots of fish. Ah, oh, there's something right there. I just hit it. I thought it was a fish. And that's where the bites have been coming from. There's, I don't know what it is. It's definitely not grass. There's some good stuff right here, whatever it is. Oh yeah, my bait just deflected off of it. Some type of wood. Some type of wood in this spot. Couple, a couple pieces, it's several. Can't get nothing else to bite though. quick update for you guys it is uh 6 30 i got out here at 5 30 so i've been out here an hour already caught a few fish but i've lost way more fish than i've caught <laughs> at least i think so anyway i'm not sure what's going on today but the fish are evading me <laughs> so we probably got another hour 7 30 8 o'clock maybe hour hour and a half before i head in 
I haven't, I haven't gone too far, you know, I've just worked this bank. It takes a bit of time to actually fish it. All right, guys, well, I was gonna fish the right side of the bank here, and then I noticed that there's this black tubing going down here, and they got this whole bank blacked off. I don't know what exactly it's for. I think it's, they're sucking settlement, settlement out of the bottom from, I don't know if it's like when they're building houses or whatever, they're trying to clean up some kind of junk from the bottom because I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's, I hear like sand and rocks and gravel, bunch of stuff running through there and probably water too. And they're pushing it out of here. So, I mean, this goes all the way up, so I can't even fish this side of the bank here, which sucks. What even sucks even more is like freaking half the lake is like this. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. All right, we're going to make a move. We're going to go find something else. We don't got a whole bunch of time, but honestly, we cannot fish that, so. Oh, that was a hit. First hit right there. In a long time. Come on, man. Fish right off the bank. It's gotta be small. He hit right on the bank. Came off. Another fish that came off. Guys, what's going on? What is happening? Finally a fish on, guys. It doesn't feel big. It's been a while. Smallmouth. Oh, guys. Popped off. Oh my god. What is happening? That'd be th fun to skip under, you know, with a jig or something. I don't have the time to do it today, but look at that little hole right there and lots of shade there in the summer. Get right on in there. Man, there's lots of tree right there. Yeah. There's some nice big chunk rock, really big rock here. Fish. Fish. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it came off. What was that? Come on, man. Do you guys see it pulling drag and everything? I don't even know what it was. Could have been a giant bass for all I know. Mm. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today. Um, like the very first spot I hit, that little stretch right there was good. I was catching some fish. You know, kind of messing around looking for the Mondo. But the big bite just did not happen. And then the rest of the places I went, um, I had a few fish here and there, a couple bites, but nothing really crazy. And I lost a, I lost a lot of fish today. I don't even want to know how many. If you guys know, drop it down below. If you guys were keeping track, but I, man, I just lost so many fish. It was crazy. Uh, I said I got there at 5:30. It's 7:30 now, so I got two hours of fishing in. It was a, it was good. It was a lot of fun, but I did lose a lot of fish. So. Tomorrow's supposed to be 82. Maybe I'll come out tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be kind of breezy, like 15, 15, 18 mile an hour winds. So that could actually help the bite or it could mess it up. Um, not positive. Uh, bright blue skies, as you guys can see. Uh, really no cloud cover at all today. Tomorrow, there's more cloud cover. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Matt and I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace. Models popping bottles. Hey!